Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn a 3D object that was made for 3D printing into something that we can cut out with our CNC. We're going to start a new model and I'm using a 30 by 30 space. I have my resolution set to max and I am using inches. I like to start off with a really large size when creating my 3D models. And this is so that we can retain some of the Z height when we scale it down to the size we actually want. First thing we need to do is import a 3D model. Now I found this model on Colts 3D. I searched for hand solo bust. And the model I'm going to use is this free hand solo bus, the very first one that pops up on the search page. After downloading it, I'm just going to go to Relief, Import, and Import the 3D model. When the model comes in, it's going to come in much bigger than our material size. So we're going to need to shrink this down. My material is 30 by 30, so I'm going to start with shrinking this down by 30. We're going to press Center. Now, I actually want to get rid of this base and I may cut off some of the shirt too, but I mainly want to get his head profile. So I'm going to do a little bit of resizing. First, I'm going to change this to 35 inches. Let me see what this looks like. Now, I need to move him down some, reduce the Y direction by 10. That was a little too much. Let's go to 12. And the next thing I want to do is I want to try to put this model halfway into my zero plane. And you can see right now we're sitting on top of the zero plane. But I want to make this model about halfway in. Now the model is 17 inches thick. Half of that, it's going to be somewhere like eight and a half. So what we're going to want to do is put like negative 8.5. Now that might have been just a little too much. So let's try negative eight. I think we could bring it forward even some more. Let's try negative seven. That brought his ears and everything up. Now let's see what this would look like if we pasted it down. This looks pretty good. We've got detail from the sides. There's not much stretching. And when I release this, you'll be able to see outside of the zero plane was completely just cut off. And now all we need to do is create this to size because right now it's about seven inches tall, which is gonna to be too tall for any piece of material that you could cut it out of. But we also have this at a 30 by 30. So if we go to model and set size, and I'm gonna bring this down to a board width of about eight inches. So we're gonna make this like an eight by eight. When I did that, you can see that it changed my Z height. And if I go to scale height, we're at just over almost two and three quarter inches. So from here, I can do a little bit of rescaling to bring this back down into cutting depth of under two inches. I'm gonna set this to 1.75 and press apply. And you can see we still have pretty good detail. We still have pretty good height in our model and everything doesn't look extremely squished. And all we need to do is create our 3D toolpath to cut this out. And if we were to use a 1 32nd for our finishing tool and 1 8th down cut for our roughing tool. And if I calculate that and now we simulate it and there we have it guys, hand solo. If you find this content valuable, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like and share this with someone. Let's spread the knowledge. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.